Would you believe me if I told you that everything is linked with strings? No, not like that. What I'm trying to say is, what if everything is made of strings and different type of vibrations cause different type of manners, just like this. Super string theory is a theory that can explain four fundamental forces and works mathematically in 10 dimensional universe. But humans can understand three plus one dimensions. The first dimension is length, the second dimension is width, and the third dimension is depth. And what about the fourth dimension? It's time! Where have you been? I've been looking for you. You sent me the coordinates but I couldn't find you because you didn't send me the time. I know, if I have never sent you the time, you will never find me. <laughs> but why we can only understand four dimensions? There might be two possibilities for this question. First, think about a big man and a small fly. And you are trying to catch the small fly with a big man. Will you be able to catch it? Of course not. So in string theory, this big net represents our big perception level and this small fly represents extra dimensions. So, how can we understand this small extra dimension with our big perception level? And you can think these extra dimensions as a small hayline text in the pavement. When you are walking or driving, are you able to understand the small cracks? No. So, if these extra dimensions are too small, you would not be able to understand them. But they are actually everywhere. And how much smaller I should be in order to understand them? The second possibility is, if we were able to understand more than four dimensions or less, we wouldn't ask this question. For example, think about honeybees and honey. If there were no honeybees, we wouldn't question the existence of honey. So we wouldn't want milk with honey. Just like this, if we were living in a three-dimensional universe, maybe we wouldn't be here. And maybe we wouldn't ask this question. Today, we do not know what happens to a matter that is sucked into a black hole. And maybe it is possible to know with the help of superstring theory. And maybe that's why superstring theory is called a theory of everything.